Hi everyone, this is Don Grimm, actuary and owner of Archer Actuarial Consulting. In this video, we're going to talk about the basics of lost triangles in just under seven minutes. So let's jump right in. A lost triangle is an organization technique where data is arranged over two dimensions of time. There are two primary advantages to the triangle format, development and comparability. Triangles allow users to observe development for a specific accident year by looking at a particular row from left to right. Triangles also allow users to compare metrics between accident years at similar maturities by looking up and down a particular column. In other words, metrics sharing a column are on an apples to apples basis with respect to maturity. Over the next few minutes, we're going to delve into these concepts and more with the help of our example triangle. In this example, we have a cumulative paid loss triangle for workers' compensation coverage for a sample insurance company. This triangle presents paid losses on an accident year basis with maturities at year-end evaluations. Maturity is a term that describes the age of loss data. In practice, triangles can be of any size, containing a few points or a few thousand. In this triangle, we have 10 accident years, from accident year 2013 through 2022. An accident year is any 12-month period during which accidents occur. Rather than accident year, we could have used a different type of time period to create a loss triangle, such as a policy year, a report year, or even accident quarter. But accident year is one of the most common ways to organize loss triangles. Let's take a closer look at the example triangle to expand on some of the concepts introduced so far. Let's begin with the loss data for accident year 2013. We can see that paid losses for accident year 2013 equaled $100,000 at age 12 months. Now in order to calculate this amount, we first had to identify all of the insurer's workers' compensation claims with accident dates in 2013. Next, we took a snapshot of their cumulative paid loss values through 12-31-2013, which happens to be 12 months after the beginning of accident year 2013. Now notice that the sum of paid losses equals the $100,000 that appears in the triangle. Actuaries would refer to this data point as the accident year 2013 paid loss as of age 12 months. Alternatively, this point may be referenced as the accident year 2013 paid loss evaluated as of 12-31-2013. Now here's an important nuance with respect to maturity and how it's calculated. The age of an accident year is always calculated relative to the beginning of the accident year. So notice that we did not calculate the age of individual claims based on their respective accident dates. The only date that matters for the purpose of constructing a triangle is the beginning of the accident year. Let's move one cell to the right. Here, cumulative paid losses for accident year 2013 are seen to equal $250,000 at age 24 months. It's important to recognize that this amount, as well as all amounts in the same row, only include claims with accident dates in 2013. Whereas paid losses equaled $100,000 after 12 months, this amount increased to $250,000 after 24 months. The change in value of losses as an accident year matures is called loss development. In this example, specifically, it's called paid loss development. You can see that as we move from left to right, the cumulative paid losses for accident year 2013 increase. This loss development is the result of claims being paid gradually over time. Some insurance coverages like workers' compensation can take several years before all claims are fully paid. Other coverages such as property may be fully paid within a few years. The key takeaway here is to recognize that all values in this row reflect accident year 2013 losses 
at various stages of maturity. Similarly, one can look at any row and observe how losses develop over time. In addition to being able to observe loss development, triangles allow users to compare values at equal maturities by looking up and down a column. For example, we can compare cumulative paid losses through 24 months for each respective accident year by looking up and down the highlighted column. Now this type of comparison is more valuable for some metrics than others, but the important thing to know is that all values within a column are on an apples to apples basis with respect to maturity. In addition to columns and rows, the diagonals of loss triangles are also meaningful. Actuaries use the term diagonal to describe a single evaluation of data. In our example, the 1231-2022 evaluation is represented as the rightmost diagonal in the triangle. Note that 1231-2022 is 12 months after the beginning of accident in year 2022, 24 months after the beginning of accident year 2021, etc. Each diagonal in this triangle corresponds to a year-end evaluation of data. So another example would be the 1231-2021 evaluation, which appears as the second to the last diagonal in our triangle. So that's all for this episode. I hope you found this information useful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to visit us at archeractuarial.com. See you again soon.